You'll have to excuse me, I'm kind of scatterbrained today. So today was my first day back um, to school, doing classes. Um, I only had one class today and it was my PE class called Body Conditioning. Basically, it's uh, working on your components in your body, um, muscle strength, flexibility, um, aerobics, cardiovascular stuffs, and your BMI. Yeah, so um, it looks like it's going to be an interesting class. Interesting because I'm the biggest girl there. There's only like four girls to begin with in that class. And most of them are like, no offense, big, burly, rawr, black guys. It's gonna be weird. The girls are like all tiny except for one of them. Ah. On Wednesday, we're going to measure our BMI, and uh, I think we're going to do our first test, which is going to be testing how our fitness is. I, I think he said that we're going to do a one-mile walk as fast as we can. Um, and that'll be good because I've been walking. I mean, I didn't walk last week, but I did do my bike. And I'm fairly confident in my walking skills. Yeah. I am worried, though, because we're going to run in week three. And, um... I don't want to run. I'm scared. Um... I'm hoping it's not going to be as bad as I think it is. But, at this moment in time... I'm a little bit freaking out. I just remember in high school all the times that I've had to do 12 minute runs where my heart is literally like jumping out of my throat, you know? You know, those memories are not good. Um, but hopefully I'm a little more fit now. And wow, everybody is I am and me. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I hope that I'm more fit and I hope that I'll see a lot of improvements during these 14 weeks that I think the class is. Um, yeah, um, so I'm going to take some pictures of myself and my exercise bra, which is kind of blue. But I'm hoping to see improvements at the end of those 14 weeks. So I'm going to take some pictures now-ish after this video and stick them at the end. And then I'll take pictures after the 14 weeks, and I'll see if there's an improvement. Um, I'm going to be seeing a lot of improvements during these 14 weeks, I hope. Um, improvements in my um, muscle strength training capabilities and flexibility and whatever, cardiovascular training. Um, hopefully I'll be able to run at the end of this 14 weeks. I mean, right now I'm kind of scared and I don't want to do it, but I'm hoping that this class will push me into actually believing that I can do it and then I'll want to do it, you know. As of right now, I don't know how to train to run and hopefully I'll learn those things. We have a textbook for the class, so that'll be interesting. Um, the professor seems nice enough. Um, he's funny. And he doesn't seem like a jerk, so, um, that's cool. <coughs> and he said straight up that he's honest, so that's good. And I, you know, I don't want any sugarcoating when it comes to, um, improvements and things that I lack. And, um, just overall needing to improve. Um, so that's good. Um... So I hope I improve, I hope I lose some weight during those 14 weeks, and I hope to be able to report to you guys my successes and failures and whatever. Um, so yeah. Oh, I want to say that I finally just chucked my scale into my closet. 
I think I might just throw it away. Um, it's been funny the whole time I've had it. It's never been a really good scale. Um, recently, though, it's been getting really iffy. Like, I'll step on it three or four times, and it'll give me a different weight every time. And if your scale isn't accurate, then it frustrates you. And I would get on my scale every day, only to be disappointed or... Not disappointed, but it would it'll affect my moods. And since I've chucked it into the closet, I'm a lot better mentally. Because I'm not, you know, fixated on the number that the scale gives me. And I only do a weekly weigh-in now, and uh, I'm happy about that. And whatever, you know, my pants are fitting, and they're fitting looser, and I don't really care too much what the scale says. I mean, yeah, in some sense, I am still fixated on the scale, but I'm happy to see that, that things are changing in my body. So, like I said, I'm going to put those pictures at the end, and hopefully they'll be changing in these 14 weeks. And at the end, I'll show you my progress. Or maybe not, if I don't see a big enough change. But we'll see. Anyway, that's all. That, and I'm kind of nervous to see what's going to go on with this school year, and me trying to lose weight during it. I've had this month between semesters to kind of focus on what to do and um, weight-wise and, you know, kind of <coughs> chillax from the extreme stress of four graduate-level English classes with four 20-page papers due within the two-week time, time period. And that was just hellish, and I made it through and I actually lost weight and oh my god I don't even know how I did that and yeah anyway now I'm rambling I've been rambling but <laughs> I hope somewhere within the rambling there was something meaningful whatever uh, I'm supposed to be doing a video for somebody I forget the name <coughs> uh, using my resistance bands in an actual like real workout where I can, you know, show you guys my moves, what I actually really do with them. And uh, that'll be out within the week. Right now I'm having a food coma from eating my sandwich and apple and maybe another sandwich. Yes, I have two sandwiches. That's pretty bad. Um, but anyway, yeah. I'm going to go now. I think I'm going to watch another episode of Lost and then go walking. Yeah, um, you might be hearing me talk about Lost a lot just because I've been trying to catch up with all the uh, seasons before Wednesday, which is not going to happen because I still have 10 episodes left to watch. But <laughs> I've been trying for two months to watch um, the three seasons. And I'm really liking that show. And anyway, yeah, in case you were, like, wondering, like, why I'm crazy and talking about Lost a lot. <laughs> anyway. Um, bye. Oh, and uh, for the 12-week challenge, um, this is for Planet Sparky to tell her how I'm doing. Um, I've lost 3.2 so far. This is the third week. And um, I've been exercising more, although not as much as I would like to have. Um, but hopefully with the addition of this course that I'm taking... I will be able to do more things and do them more efficiently. Um, like I said, I know things, but I can always improve. I can always know more. So, um, yeah.
Hopefully by the end of the 11 weeks, I'll have lost um, 10 to 15 pounds. And if not, it's okay because it's a process. Anyway, that is my two cents and my story. And um, yeah, look for that uh, resistance bands exercise thing that I'm going to put out by the end of the week. It might be tomorrow, actually. Maybe. We'll see. Alrighty. Bye.